Hello, this week I did an experiment and a wonderful discovery. Normally, when I take sanded paper as a surface to work on, I use Polychromos or Derwent Pro Color because they blend really well with Powder Blender. Sometimes some Pablos for the refining touches. And I almost never use my wax based pencils on sanded paper because they're difficult to blend with the powder blender. And the polychromos seem to be a logic and good choice. But what if I didn't blend with powder blender, but with odorless mineral spirit from Gamsel instead, was my question. Can I then use my wax based pencils in an easy way? Odorless mineral spirit is a kind of turpentine. I use it all the time for blending colored pencils on hot press watercolor paper. First I experimented with green oil from Sennelier. That was a kind of disaster. It blended really well, but it didn't seem to dry. Even after a week it was still wet and my colored pencils became a kind of wet oil paint. So I started over and tried the odorless mineral spirit with several brands of colored pencils, with Luminance, Prismacolor and with the Derwent Lightfast. It worked really great. They kind of stick to the paper and that makes the blending easier. It works with the powdery ones too, the Polychromos and the Procolor. But in the first layer it can be a little tricky. You have to work on your technique a few minutes to get it done, otherwise you will just sweep the pigments around. The odorless mineral spirit needs some time to work on the binders I think. I will show you this in another informative video, but let's get back to this project. I am working on the new Lux Archival here, a wonderful white surface made by brushing pencil. In the first layer I use my luminance. And do you see the fast and sloppy strokes? Totally no problem. The odorless mineral spirit will blend it all out. To get a nice blending result, it's best to have a few layers on your paper. But that doesn't take a lot of time. I think the background here took me less than 15 minutes. I think it would take me 5 hours or so on hot press watercolor paper, so it's much faster. Doesn't take that much of your patience. I call this a blocking in stage. I just block in the main colors in this base layer. Everything can be adjusted in next layers on this paper. It's very forgiving. In the refining layers, you can place darker colors on top of lighter ones, but lighter ones on top of the darker ones will work as good. And you can work in a glazing way or in a more opaque way in refining layers, just by adjusting your pressure and techniques. Ok, are you ready for some magic? I took the odorless mineral spirit, a cheap but kind of sturdy brush, too soft and too hard, both won't work. This is a synthetic one made for acrylics. Look how intense and beautiful the piece already gets. No colored pencil strokes visible anymore. And of course, clean your brush between colors. And the blending on the black background really made me sing. What a wonderful experience! Ok, then I let it dry completely. I used a fairly amount of odorless mineral spirits, so I let it dry for a day. A couple of hours would be ok, but I just didn't proceed till the next day. Then I sprayed with two layers of textured fixative from Russian pencil. Please clean the nozzle before spraying and shake the bottle firmly. 
Let the fixative dry between layers for half an hour or so and then spray the next layer. Then I proceeded with the refining layer. I used the Polychromos for that, but the other brands will work too. I didn't blend with powder blender in this layer, but again used odorless mineral spirit instead. In the end to get rid of grittiness. You can work with powder blender too, but don't combine powder blender and odorless mineral spirit in one layer. So as soon as you use powder blender, don't use odorless mineral spirit in that one. You have to seal with textured fixative first. Otherwise it can give unexpected and muddy effects. But you can use odorless mineral spirit first and then the powder blender because the odorless mineral spirit evaporates. So in that order you can apply them both in one layer. If you want to try this one yourself, please visit my Patreon page. You can even try the first lesson for free if you want to, to see if you like my style of teaching. Every week I create and upload new videos to the page and I teach every project from start to finish, so you can join regardless of your level. And of course I provide you with a reference, a line drawing and a supplies list. And you can join my private Patreon group on Facebook, that's where I record the lessons in live streams. So you have a lot of opportunity to interact and ask everything you want to know. So for just $10 a month, you will get a lot of lessons and courses. I work in several media, from colored pencils, pastels to oils. I all love them. I think I'm an art addict. So I would love to see you there. And as usual, I would really encourage you to pick up your pencils and have fun with them. Really, let's color the world.